Welcome to Burning Bright, a weekly podcast presenting poetry and prose from Passager. Passager's newest book just hit the stands, so to speak, Mother Nest by Sandy Longley. It's a collection of poems deeply rooted in nature and in the author's concerns about protecting it. Cape Cod naturalist Dennis Minsky said, Sandy Longley takes the observed world and makes it shimmer with meaning. On this edition of Burning Bright, four of Sandy's mother nest poems that are set on Cape Cod where she lives. First, Amor Mundi. It's dedicated to Annie. Dear Box Turtle, I understand your road crossings. I, too, move with purpose and deliberation. I, too, am often hard-shelled. There are berries and grasses to forage, eggs to lay, clutches to disguise in the underbrush, predators to flee, pond to clean. And yet here we are. Let me help you cross the road. Like a Valkyrie in black leggings and silver, I will stop Route 6 traffic with a raised arm and a fierce stare. I will pick you up, never by the tail, and bring you to the direction you are going. Who would renounce jubilation, asked Rilke, especially for the lowly. By that I mean I dreamed of resting with you by water's edge, both of us emerging from our colorful carapaces, stretching our turtlenecks up into the soft morning light. A chorus of bullfrogs bassooning their brave songs. Amor Mundi, Sandy Longley Route 6, by the way, is the only road that goes from the start of Cape Cod out to the tip at Provincetown. And also, by the way, that poem inspired passenger designer Christine Drawl to create the tortoise shell image on the cover of Mother Nest. Next, Sandy's poem, A Stranding, about Mola Mola, gigantic sunfish that can weigh anywhere from 500 to 2,000 pounds. Two Mola Mola washed ashore last night during a full moon and August high tide. Medallions of luminescence, one scalloped and finned, parasites embedded in its bony sandpaper body, an oversized manhole with wings, the other one suspended and cratered, both ancient, mythic. So much was happening in the midst of this benign death. A white dog strained its leash at the scent of decomposing flesh. A child draped a seaweed wreath on a head. A congregant of cormorants murmured miserere nobis on small breaking waves. From the rooftops, black-backed gulls screeched, then dove. Entrails spilled from their bellies. Something had ended a pelagic life, but who can say for sure? Mouths agape astonished, their eyes already picked clean, now dark, empty sockets where the soul may reside. The old UU church bells chime nine o'clock. Come to me, cried the sea beneath a cloudy dome. By morning, the Mola Mola were gone. Sandy Longley's poem, A Stranding, from her new book, Mother Nest. Mother Nest was runner-up in Passager's 2022 Morgenthau Poetry Prize Contest for a writer 70 or older. Morgenthau Prize judge David Keplinger said, This is a poet in the tradition of Mary Oliver, Elizabeth Bishop, and Seamus Haney, whose poems are at home with borders and frontiers between danger and softness, life and death. Next, Sandy Longley's poem, A Kind of Elegy. Last night, you said you stopped at Higgins Pond after your appointment to watch emerald-hooded mallards tip and dunk for spring promise, bulrush, minnows, and floating cloudy globes of yellow-spotted salamanders. You crouched on the bank, forgetting the ache in your back, late March air stinging your exposed neck. I hope what comes next is just like this, you said. Sweet, Earthy mud smells, a hint of heat on stones, wind-whipped water. A great blue heron landed beside you, wide wing plumes, a dagger-like bill, head hunched on shoulders. 
He croaked and crooned, you said, like Satchmo on a scratchy 78 LP. Sandy Longley's poem, A Kind of Elegy. Since we just celebrated Mother's Day, we'll end with this poem by Sandy Longley, Long Distance. There is a phone booth in my seaside town where you can call the dead. No quarters or dimes, credit card or password are needed. You just pick up the receiver and say something like, Mom, can you hear me? Then wait. You may have to start the conversation like, Mom, what's it like there? If there's still no response, you might say, Today gannets and guillemots grace the harbor. Right whales rise off the point. You take a few deep breaths and then wait. You think you hear something on the other end. A distant train whistle? A sigh like silk on silk? Your damask tea towel covers the sourdough bread. The cloisonne box is hidden. Mom, may I ask, what is it you cling to? Then wait. All of the poems on this edition of Burning Bright were from Passager's newest book, Mother Nest, by Sandy Longley. You can buy Mother Nest or any of Passager's other books, or subscribe to or learn more about Passager and its commitment to writers over 50, and lots more. Go to PassagerBooks.com. For Kendra, Mary, Christine, Roseanne, and the rest of the Passager staff, I'm John Shore.